We've got you covered, but until then, looking collectively at the composition, it is a very old school G2 comp. The ability to play 1-3-1 one, one if oh. they want, a style that a lot of people think is dead right now with how powerful souls are. And then to round off Fnatic's composition, Selfmade taking his Gragas. I think he is the best Gragas that we have in Europe. He is a masterclass at this jungle. Yeah, Blippo is going to be fine. Notice that he's just waiting for a little bit more information. They're going to notice that the TP is going to come through from Caps into the mid lane. And now Selfmade has his eyes set on the bot side of the map. Yeah, Selfmade making use of the counter gank where he is walking out of vision, whereas Blippo actually had a ward sitting in that tri bush. So he saw that G2 had made their way up there. Here goes Selfmade. Hook hits the wall, Selfmade goes in. Perks is ticking down and first blood fanatic. Reckless secures it. And again, Perks and Mickey are being punished in the bot lane. They were punished very heavily by Han Sama and Vander just yesterday on, on Whippo once again. So we did see Yankos actually walk right by the side of a ward. His Oracle's alteration did not spot it out, and so Whippo very safe in the knowledge that Yankos is on the top side of the map. And you can see he was just backing, waiting, spending his time. Hillison's going to look for engagement. Nemesis has the six, has the shockwave. Perks trying to get some damage over the wall, but Mickey actually just uses the stand beside me to get back. And a lot of action already in this early game. G2 constantly cheating up towards the top side of the map, while Selfmade and Hilly are really forcing bot side. The flash goes wide, and now Yankos is here. Flash hook not able to connect. The Winter's Bite goes wide as well. It's a story of missed skill shots in the bottom lane. Everyone will walk away a little bit wounded but still very safe. I respect what Hello Sang tried to do um, there. But pathing, clearing his camps, and setting up for ganks. Glacial Fisher was used there onto Hello Sang. He was uh, pretty safe. I think it was a little bit too proactive from Mickey. His self-made comes down towards the bottom lane. He's going to use that Oracles, make sure that there's no one spotting him. But while this is all happening, see the Shen on the top side of the map. There's the curtain call, knock back on Mickey. Perks able to dodge just towards the side. The Stand United coming into Perks as well. Hillsign's got the kill on Mickey, but there's the taunt on Selfmade. Caught underneath the tower for the moment. He tries to flash away, but cannot escape. G2 get their first kill of the game. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Whippo and Wonder are fighting. Wonder's dodging around as much as he can, but Whippo is winning out that trade. Good skirmishing on the top side of the map and a pretty even trade towards the bot side. Fnatic had their eyes on Perks, but they're going to settle for getting that kill onto Mickey, of course. There's going to be a trade. Ulti comes through. Enchanted Crystal Arrow hits Hillisang. He's already used the dash to get away, and the flash taunt from Yankos finds its mark. So the really cool thing about Shen is he just has a lot of damage early. <laughs> he, because of how his abilities combine together, the bonus magic damage you can get. Second than Perks right now, who only has Zerkas and a core field Warhammer. Which is why Fnatic are going to feel so confident fishing for these kills. You can see that Selfmates come in. Heli's open with the ultimate already, and here comes Gragas. And uh, Hillisang's going in for the engagement. Mickey's actually caught out just a little bit. The taunt comes down. Hillisang still on the front line. Caps trying to get him from behind. Reckless trading onto Perks, and Perks will go down. So will Hillisang. Reckless going to try and do what he can with the captive audience, but Yankos is on the chase. Canabuage used. Reckless chained up at a double for Caps. Ends up being a two for two. Caps is able to get involved in the fight much earlier than Fnatic are, and that means that both bot lanes end up falling there. G2, Perks, and Mickey, they're getting punished a lot by this Fnatic squad. The caps oh, and Nemesis is now 15 CS behind, two kills behind, and it's going to struggle on this Oriana for the next while. Wonder trying to trade into Whippo. Hexagold Mason follows Whippo on the flash. Yankos coming in with the Stand United, and that is a very dead gangplank. And that's the ultimate from Yankos that we were talking about once again. These solo laners from G2 can feel very confident in making plays because that support from the jungler is always going to be there, primed and ready to go. And it feels like that this Shen was the pick yeah. that G2 needed. So many questions were surrounding Yankos. Can he play the carry jungle meta? Can he fit into this style? And he's like, you know what? I'll do you one better. I'll take set. I'll do everything that he does and more. And I'm only going to further enable my two solo lanes. Wonder's actually going to jump him onto Nemesis. Nemesis with the shockwave. Shock it's wave. three exhaust still there, but the arrow will chase him down. There's the taunt, and there's the kill to Perks, and it's all falling apart for Fnatic. Well, look at the counterplay bottom. While it's all going wrong for Fnatic topside, Caps just picked up a kill. Caps manages to and kill. And he gets away! Flashes well, away. He, uh, he could go back if he wanted. Caps, he'll want a piece of this. He wants a little bit of the action as he dives forward on a self-made. The chains don't quite connect. Reckless forces away his former teammate and self-made, and Reckless will walk away wounded. And 
for majority of the early game, Fnatic were the ones that were throwing the the, the blows. They were the ones who were put, pressing the action there and kind of dodging out. You know, uh, kind of slow the game down just a little bit. Stop G2 from making all these plays, then they're good. Because remember, first Drake hasn't even been taken yet. 50 minutes into <laughs> the game, and that Dragon Soul is not something that Fnatic really have to stress about. Because there's no pressure for either team's composition to need to stack Dragons. And as we talked about, you know, slowing the bleeding, because I do agree with you, they need to make sure that they're more high percentage plays. Hook's going to land here onto Wonder, and he is done. Oh. Reckless takes the kill. 3, 1, and 2 now on the gym. My favorite thing about that, though, was still the fact that there were three members of G2 in the river that yep. were about to come down <laughs> bottom. And now that they see that Selfmade's bot, Nemesis is in a lot of trouble. Yankos looking for the taunt. Won't quite connect on it. Nemesis with the shockwave is actually going to pull Yankos back underneath the turret. And Yankos takes about four tower shots there. Perk's still pushing in the mid lane. As Reckless and Hillasang will do the same in the bottom. Arrow lands alongside the Glacial Fisher. Nemesis knocked up, shut down, stunned up. Perks gets the kill, but a great knockback with the cast. Oh, Mickey dodges away from it, self-made. It's a game of inches and he can't quite oh, land it. And no. the stand united from Yankos to get himself out. The CC had been used. First draft, they brought a new pick in. They've done some dark technology and it's working so well for them. You can see that Fnatic still recognize when and where they are strong. They know that the Shin ultimate is down for now, so they can kind of pick and choose where they want to attack on the map. And it was that Dragon as TP into the top lane. Wonder going deep. Has the Hexagon made him? Going to dive onto Whippo. Whippo unable to walk out of the cage for the moment, but will have the flash up in just a second, and Whippo is just forced away. Shutting caps down. They will just rely on Hunt some advantage to straight up win the 2v2. And of course, this is a long series. We'll see how things progress, and maybe Fnatic can still come back. But right now, Wonder has his eyes on self made. Yeah, Wonder diving in here. Selfmade's almost dead already. The arrow lands on Reckless, but he's going to cleanse it away. Wonder down to about a third HP. Shockwave doesn't connect. Yankel's still on the front line. Flashes over the wall. Reckless getting chased out by Caps. Caps looking to add some pages to that book. Gets the kill on the Jane Glacial Fisher. Not quite connecting, but it's a 5v3 in favor of G2, and Caps isn't quite done yet. Whippo, Nemesis, and Hillisang limping their way towards the bottom lane. And G2 got what they want, though. You know, there's nothing for Fnatic to get down there. Maybe a pick off of Wonder, but meanwhile, the rest of G2 immediately run towards the mid lane, shove those waves in, and we'll get better resets. Yeah, the awkward thing for Fnatic right now is that they're stuck on the bot side of the map. Look Oops. at Shen and Ash right now, just stealing the entire top side away. So, self made, he ends up dying, but he's got nothing to come back to on the map. All of his farm is being denied. He's now two levels down. Wonder gets engaged on. I'm able to interrupt the hookshot wall dive there, but Mickey's still in range to uh, make sure that Wonder didn't go down. And now Caps is on the chase. He's got 10 pages. He wants a few more names on his death note. Hillisang exhausted. Wonder almost down. Nemesis looking for the final auto attack, but he hasn't got the mana to do anything more. He flashes forward. One last auto attack will get the kill, but Caps secures the counter kill on Nemesis. Sign of desperation there from Nemesis and Hillisang. They spent so much time sitting in the bot lane. It gave time once again for Caps to show up. And yes, you got that kill onto Wonder. That's a good bit of gold. That's more stacks on the measure yep. for Caps. This mid laner, this MVP is continuing to ramp up. He's now found self made. He even chases him. Couldn't see him at all, but managed to get the chase and then dodges away from the. Ex okay, okay, Caps. You're styling on them. I agree that when you look at the strengths and weaknesses of both teams, everyone would say that Fnatic, bot side of the map, heavily favored. Yep. But solo laners kind of swings the way of G2. The biggest question mark was, what about the jungle difference? Because while we were talking about how to deal with the Caps problem, we were like, how does G2 deal with the self-made problem? Like, this man has been on a tear so far in playoffs, and it seems like the Shen has been the answer, because not only does it give Yankos an early game playmaking jungler, it's also something that can play around the solo lanes, which is, of course, the big strength for G2. And now, do you just ban the Shen away? Do you deny this from Yankos, and then does he look like the fool that he looked like yesterday? Do they have another answer? So. For game one, I'm glad that the Shin came out. I'm curious if he'll get his hands on it again, especially if G2 close out this game. The problem is if you then leave up that ban, you have to see who else you can get rid of as Whippo is dived in the top lane. No real escape for him. The taunt comes out, Yankos and Wonder will secure that kill. But yeah, if you ban Shen, you're not banning Kate. You're not banning Set. You're not banning Hecarim. You're giving G2 Midlaner something. Who is split pushing. And Fnatic then have these very tiny windows where they can try to crack the rest of G2 in the mid lane and then have to rush over and save their solo laners. Here comes the Shen again. That's just like, oh, you thought you had a tower here, Nemesis? I'm afraid you do not. Yankos comes in with a stand united, and Nemesis running for his life, just fighting to survive here as uh, Yankos lands the taunt, and Caps will be gifted the kill for those Magi's Ooh. stacks. Minions? Okay, Caps... He's actually going to live, yeah. isn't he? <laughs> he? He survives for the moment. Run, I'm... Nemesis, run! <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot more faith in Nemesis than I do right here. Caps 
Run to Baron, Fnatic, run to Baron! Again. But the problem is, like, what can Fnatic do, right? Like, we talked about their team fight composition, we talked about their possibility of long range engage, but G2 are just that much stronger oh, right now than no. even if they're long, gaining, engage, a long range engage will not work. TP flank here as Caps goes onto the back line. Wonder trading here with Brippo. And Whipper will put down the cannon barrage, and Caps almost just demolishes Reckless. Goodbye, Jin. Seven kills, 22 stacks on the Medjai's. Caps is getting tired of reading. He wants a to massacre Fnatic instead. Mickey diving in, perks there, gets the concussive blows onto Hilla Sangs, and Caps is there for the follow up. Good knockback from Self Made, but you have to feel that's way too little, way too late as Caps once again jumps over the wall. And Self Made will be taunted up. Caps goes legendary. 17 kills to 7 in 26 minutes. G2 are playing with Fnatic. And Mickey is just keeping Whippo preoccupied. Notice that the TP is still available for Wonder, and he may well want to give that kill over to him. But this has just been nothing but systematic destruction from G2 attacking Fnatic across the map. The mid laner, the MVP. Try and turn it around. There's a couple of good plays, but. They're just too far behind at this point. 8,000 gold down. Whippo now facing off against Caps. And uh, it's less of a face off and more of a one sided brawl as Caps dives forward once again. Whippo trying to get underneath the turret. Change don't quite connect. Yankel still tanking it up. Caps dives forward once again. Whippo still surviving for a very long time here. As Reckless now opens up. This would be a great kill for Fnatic to get. And Caps has gone way too far. The shockwave. Oh, Caps still gets the kill. He's still in a 1v5, manages to get a kill on Reckless. All right, Nemesis, he messed up the shockwave there, isn't quite able to land it, giving Caps that very brief window, and that's all he needs. He will lose 10 it's right, lads. But also, it's G2. Message received. G2 also don't have to stop split pushing. Yankus is level 15. He's like the same level. The issue is that they kept saying it, you know, we no longer need to play the style that made us famous in this meta. We don't like to do it, and it was a, a matter of what would they find? To be able to win a big 5v5, it ultimately comes down to how easily can G2 break into the base of Fnatic. Yeah, and that does start with dive potential. And if you look at the itemization that Fnatic have, the fact that you have things like Zonji's Hourglass, uh, the oranges from Gangplank, as well as the reset potential from Self Made, it is still very risky for G2 to try to dive into Fnatic unless they really execute perfectly. Well, right now, they're trying to clear out some of the vision that Fnatic had laid in their own jungle. Triple Oracles on the side of G2. Just don't want Fnatic to have any awareness of where Caps is. You can see Fnatic going for the extra far sight alterations, just trying to spot out anyone sitting in their jungle. Three men pushing in top. Wonder in the bottom lane as Bukur tries to trade onto him, but Bukur still only level 15. Wonder just dives forward. The cannon barrage comes out, but there's the Hectic Automator. And here's Yankos. Whippo underneath the tower, surviving for as long as he can. Yankos able to flash away. The, the wall jump from Wonder will get into safety. Yankos should fall here. Zreklos just needs a final auto attack with the curtain. Cool comes out. Wonder's going to block a couple of shots here. Yankos trying to get out of the back of it. Wonder dodging to the side, dodging to the left. Selfmate flashing forward. Does manage to kill the Camille. But meanwhile, in the top lane, the shot Wave's gonna land, Caps has gone to mid, and Mickey's been caught underneath the tower. Hillisang on the chase, Perks is gonna die here as well. Oh, he flashes away, and here comes Caps! Nemesis dies, Perks survives, Hillisang rooted up underneath the remnants of his tower, which was raised to the ground, but it now manages to get the shutdown from Reckless. Fnatic fight back in the final moments of this game. Self-made and Reckless right behind him, but this is the danger zone for Fnatic right now, because they can never be sure if the Baron is being started or not. So notice how they're just kind of grouping up together as G2 to look for the pick. Selfmade has a really good flank position here. Hillisang's trying to trade back, but the rest of Fnatic have already left him. Hillisang's still alive here. Manages it to get out for the moment. Still surviving the shockwave coming down as well. There's the shutdown. Reckless finds one. Selfmade finds another one. Perks is going to eat up the curtain call. Two shots taken. Caps still alive. The stopwatch used by Selfmade. Hitting wonder from the side though. Whippo able to kill Perks, and this is a great fight for Fnatic. And we thought they were dead. We thought they were buried, but Fnatic are fighting back. Wonder has to flash away. Caps still up towards the top side of this, but Wonder is done for. One survives for G2. It's Caps. He's carried the team through the split. He has to do something miraculous here. And, and there was a massive difference there. Reckless didn't have a LeBlanc in to the back line, was able to really play slowly around all of that time that Hilly bought them. And now, like you said, it is MVP against the world as Fnatic look to take the Baron. What a fight back from Fnatic. Caps is going to back, does have the TP, but won't be here in time. Fnatic with the Baron fighting back from 8,000 gold. Secondary support at this point, which means that Jin is going to have kill pressure on anyone. He could two shot a LeBlanc. Yep. He can hit Ash, probably completely destroy her. Like, Reckless is massive. He just needs to stay alive, and Fnatic just need to give him opportunity. 
And I will say, I love Hillasang's itemization choice to help Reckless stay alive. He's gone for the redemption second on a Nautilus. You don't usually see that. Usually you build a little bit more tanky, but having the extra healing after Caps chunk someone out, having that sustain when Wonder's sitting on top of you can work so well. Self-made, just about able to survive with the stop. Watch Caps gonna pop one of his own. Hillasang trading off towards the backside as Mickey gets the kill on Self-made. Wonder dives in, trying to get onto the back line. The Enchanted Crystal Arrow is gonna hit Hillasang, and you can see how low Wonder is. He's down. Ripple trading with this as the Shockwave hits two. Reckless still alive. It's a 4v3 in favor of G2, but they will just back away for the moment. That dragon's still alive, and we are getting to a point where you wonder, G2 have been a little bit quicker on taking some of these dragons. We could be on soul points already. I mean, the reality is, regardless of what situation G2 is in, Cap still does Cap's thing. That's true. He's able to find that small pocket of vision. Selfmade does the face check, and then lo and behold, Cap's hit before he can get it, because that's g windows to be able to get themselves a ban. It's gone. It's Ocean Soul for G2. So rare you see a as team. Well, Hilly also getting his locket just now. Oh, yeah. So you have the redemption, you have the locket, you have the gargoyle stone plate. Hopefully, they keep Reckless alive through Caps' burst damages. Caps probably going to trade his life here. Yeah, he's got, got caught out. Shockwave comes down, but he's going to use the stopwatch. Gets the inhibitor. Meanwhile, the rest of G2 are setting up around this Baron. Hillasang is going to get caught out with the arrow. The rest of Fnatic on their way. The hook comes in. Hillasang still has the Gargoyle, still has the Redemption, still has a lot of shielding. Selfmate trying to get into the middle of the fight as the Redemption comes out from Yankos. He's frontlining, knocked back by the cask is Perks. But G2 have been able to disengage. Here comes Hillasang Whippo. survives. Here comes Whippo, teleporting behind them. Remember, he's got the GA, he's got the stopwatch. He's got a long way to survive. Nemesis stepping forward as the Curtain Call comes down. And Wonder rejoins the fight from the bottom side. It's 5v4 in favor of Fnatic. Perks dived on by Selfmate, but he's going to flash out off the back of it. Whippo's still on that front line. Hillisang now going in, joining his teammates. Selfmate's down. Perks gets the kill. Hillisang stepping forward once again. Reckless trying to get the damage off, but those shots are too slow. They're too weak right now as Wonder dives forward, dives back. Incredible stuff from Wonder as he just stands at the edge of the team fight and baits out the hook from Hillisang. And in a 4v5, G2 are able to hold the line this time against Fnatic. He from Caps comes into the mid lane. He immediately starts pushing out the wave. And surely with the top in him down, with the Baron now... It's taking them a lot longer than I think many people expected, but they have managed to take everything off the map. G2 in a strong position here against Fnatic. Ooh. They've been forced to show all of their cards. Caps going in. Look at that healing from the ocean. He's almost back to full HP. He was half just a second ago. Hook goes wide. Caps dives in once again, and is going to have to walk his way back to the base. Get back to the fountain of youth because you are not long for the rip. Caps goes in. Nemesis flashes away. Wonder trading with Bwipo in the bottom lane. Remember, Bwipo still has the GA, so we'll come back. Heals himself up, but the inhibitor now in the mid lane has gone down. And G2 continue on the offensive. They continue to land punch after punch in the faces of Fnatic. And Fnatic can't get back off the map. G2 diving forward, diving the Nexus Towers. Hillazak on the front line. The Gargoyle Stone, but it's going to keep him healthy. Not back with Kask as Wonder as he goes off to the back line. Hillazak almost down, though. And G2 are still so healthy. Perks. Hooked. He's still surviving the shockwave, just about able to take him down on Caps. Now low as well, Fnatic! They've done it, they found the fight that they were looking for, they can't quite get the final kill on Wonder! Yanko slumps away! G2. And even if they do have the Elder, if they're caught out, if they get landed on by a shockwave, a barrel, a Gragas uh, ultimate, you can still pop them Elder or not. Ooh, ooh, look at Hilly, he's on the hunt. Looking for Wonder, Caps, oh, he's still in the bush, and she's there, gonna keep him alive for the moment. Only seven attacks on that Mejo, there's the cannon barrage. Caps trying to get away, doesn't have flash. Got root, gets rooted, Death Shot's gonna chase him down. And there comes the damage, Caps is down. Yankos over with a double taunt, trying to get onto Veklas. He has the Elder Dragon, just needs to get him down. But like 20% health, but he can't quite get close enough. Redemption used as well. TP into the base from Fnatic. They're seeing Charter Crystal Arrow, that goes wide. Wonder tries to stop the teleport from Nemesis, because Nemesis was going back to the base to try and defend. And here comes the counter TP. Whipper's gonna join the fray. Wonder's down, shut down for Fnatic. And they still have all five left alive, and they are wiping this Elder off the map. You're not prey today, Perks. He tried to find the cross map arrow. He doesn't find the TP and another phenomenal hold from Fnatic. And also, that was one. 100% agree with you. I think we do have to give credit to Fnatic as well. They have Look at that managed gold to find pick after pick. Selfmade pops the stopwatch. His team isn't here. There's no way they can help him. He tries to get away, but he's locked up. And Perks will get the kill. Elder remains on him. And now Fnatic. Well, you've got your inhib in the mid lane up in 10. Bot lane 23 seconds, but there's a Baron in 24. You have a man down for the next minute. 
G2 just trying to break open this base. Perk's gonna get hit with the depth charge. Knocked up. Hiddlesang diving onto that back line. Reckless opening up. Mickey down to half. Oh, good one to dive forward. Nemesis is gone. Hiddlesang's gone as well. And Caps and Wonder dive onto the back line. And try as you might, Fnatic. You cannot stop the oncoming storm. G2 wipe Fnatic out of the rift. And we'll take. Game one of the series in the longest game of summer. You may, you said it, Medic. Fnatic are making G2 sweat for it. This is only game one of G2 Fnatic, but for now, G2 will lead the series. <laughs> give me five games of that. Well, Just give me that. I, I would like to be able to speak at the end of the day. <laughs> we had two weeks off, Betty. It's fine. <laughs> oh my word, like. G2, okay, so let's do a summary of the game. First 10 minutes, very even, very back and forth. Fnatic in their spot, G2 yep. playing around the top side of the map. Then all of a sudden, G2 blow open the game with the Shen picks, left, right, center, caps out plays. He's getting fed on LeBlanc. 30 minute mark rolls around, Frost, you called it with the reckless hour, yep. but Jin comes online. G2's making a bunch of mistakes that Fnatic's very quickly capitalizing on, and we end up in this battle.